Hello everybody. You know, we let's start exercise 9b. Okay, exercise 9b once again is for class 7 and profit and loss. Profit and loss. Of course, everyone, everything you can say you buy or purchase de deals with profit or loss. Okay, that is why you should have a very clear idea about what how much you have incurred uh, gain how you have incurred gain and how you have in, uh, you can say incurred uh, loss or the same gain or loss in the in the percentage come to number 9 and here we find find the cost of an find the cost price of the article so you are being asked the cost price of the article when the selling price is given as rupees 4050 and your loss is given as 10% okay Fine. So, when selling price is given and loss percent is given, don't you remember the direct formula? Huh? Direct formula? The direct formula is equal to 100 by, once again, 100 by 100 minus loss percent into selling price. Clear? So, that is why do not forget. These all formulas, okay. These are for these are for formulas. I hope I had taught you previously. You can say in the previous video that the selling price is equal to hundred minus loss percent by a hundred into cost price. Do you remember this particular formula? If you have really gone through through the previous video, naturally you would see you you would have learned this one so in order to find the cost price just reverse this one reverse that is do change this one into its reciprocal so it will become 100 by 100 minus loss cost price will be 100 minus loss 100 by 100 minus loss 100 by 100 minus loss percent into selling price okay moving on to this one so let's put the values so here my dear the cost price will be equal to 100 by 100 minus loss that is 90 into selling price 4050 so let's solve the beta g here the cost price will be equal to how much let's do do some simple calculations to karu kya okay fine so 9 how many times 945 times is equal to rupees 4500 as the cost price so be happy it's very simple <laughs> okay now what are they are saying in number nine they're saying some more more thing that also find the new selling price please find the new selling price okay of the article which must give you a profit of eight percent so the profit profit of eight percent so of course i'm going to find out the selling price but first give me the cost price only then I will find the selling price. So yes, they have already given you the cost price. They have not given you. You have found out the cost price. So naturally, this will be worked on this cost price only. So better selling price will be equal to how much? Will be equal to wait, the same formula. Have a look over here. 100, not loss, 100 plus profit. 100, 100 plus profit percent by 100 into cost price so 100 plus profit percent 108 by 100 into cost cost you can have better let me see let me see yes so here into 4 okay, 4500 just throw us a calculation and you will get your answer isn't it when you will multiply you will get rupees 4860 as your answer isn't it moving on to number 10 what we have by selling an article for rupees 825 a man loses so selling an article so in number 10 they say that the selling price of the article is given this time they have given you the selling price as rupees 825 and loss is how much they say that the man loses an amount equal to 1 by third of its selling price so 1 by third of its selling price means how much what was the selling price 825 who will solve it you will solve it 275 is the law is the loss so 
great what you will find they are asking you to find out find the cost price of the article are bhaiya to cost price will be more than the selling price no losses here to cost price will be more then cost this means whenever you have more you add the loss in the selling price so selling price plus loss selling price plus loss means 800 and 25 plus 275 to beta it will be equal to how much will be equal to rupees 11000 wow i hope you have understood this so cost price cost price is equal to selling price plus plus loss 1100 now what are they asking they are ask they are saying in number 10 the profit person or the loss person made if the same article is sold for rupees 1265 now they are saying that the if one minute let me use this one that if the selling price is equal to rupees rupees 1265 then in that case what will be the gain or the loss percent so come on they have given you the cost price also they have given you the selling price also can't you find the can't you find out the gain or the gain percent 1265 minus 1100 will be equal to how much rupees 165 so gain percent will be equal to gain by cost price cost cost price is 1100 into 100 who will solve i will solve 11 how many times 11 one times five times is equal to 15 percentage okay so that is why we should not get a, a panic as soon as we get this sum first go through this sum check whether check what are they asking for it have you learnt it previously or not find the loss or the see the same thing find the loss or the gain percent to put for low so why they are saying that the cost price of 10 articles articles is equal to selling price of 8 articles a articles they have not given the price so i will keep the price as 1 so cost price of 10 article is equal to selling price of of 8 articles which is equal to 1 so this means the cost price of one article one article is equal to 1 by 10 and the selling price of one article is equal to 1 by 8 what do you think which is bigger 1 by 8 is bigger or 1 by 10 is bigger come on think a hey, 1 by 8 is bigger you can see that denominator is smaller so if you are dividing a number by a smaller number naturally the value will be more okay so the gain will be equal to 1 by 8 minus 1 by 10 is equal to let us take the lcm how much 40 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 by 40 this is your gain who will find the gain percent so gain percent will be equal to gain that is 1 by 40 by cost price 1 by 10 cost into 100 times 100 okay fine so can't we solve gain by cost price that is 10 by 1 we have, i have converted the division to multiplication so change this change this one into its reciprocal in times 100 Oh, oh, zero, zero, for how many times? For twenty-five percent. So here you have your gain percent as twenty-five percent, isn't it? Moving on to the next one. Okay. So do you know the selling price? Huh? You do not know. So let the selling price be rupees hundred. Very good. And what are they talking about? The cost price. Cost price as ninety-six percent of its selling price. So I have a look. 96 if you will calculate 96% of the selling price you will get 96 only okay rupees 96 so you have the selling price also and you have the cost price also can't you find out the gain your gain will be equal to 100 minus 96 is equal to rupees 4 so you can find out the gain percent very easily that is 
gain by CP into 100. Gain by CP 96 in times into into 100. Okay. So, 4 how many times? 4? 4, four uh, 24 times, isn't it? And then uh, 4 how many times? 6 times and 25 times. So, this will give you 25 by 6. That is 4, 1 by 6 percent. Energy. Okay. 11, this 13, let's do number 1, that's 14. And in number 14, what do they say? They, it will be of the same kind, nothing different is there. Okay. In 14, they say that the selling price of an article is 96 percent of, of its cost. The same thing. See? The selling price, the selling price is equal to, the selling price is equal to 96 percent of its cost price. Do you know the cost price? Hmm? No. So, uh, as soon as you say this, so let the cost price, let the cost price be 100. So, here your selling price will be equal to 96. So, when cost price is 100, selling price is 96. So, here the, here you will incur loss. Loss. Loss will be equal to cost price minus selling price 96 equal to rupees 4 and your loss percent will be equal to loss by CP CP loss by CP into 100 equal to how much equal to 4 percent now why they have given you these two kind of sums because here when the selling price you can say well, you can say when they have given you cost price as 96 percent of selling price and when you incurred a gain of four and a half four one by six percent if they have reversed this so the children will think that instead of gain they they will incur a loss of four one by six percent which is not so so here we found that tot that our you can say our loss was totally different from what was expected or what we thought of isn't it they start number 14 shall we start now yes, we have already done number 14 in number 15 let me see if they have something new for us okay of course they will have every time they have new for us only 100 oranges are bought for rupees 350 so cost price of 100 oranges O R A N G E S is equal to rupees three five zero. Okay, three five zero, and all of them were sold at a rate of forty eight per dozen. Hmm, very good. So selling price of they have also given you the selling price. The, the selling price of one dozen, one dozen oranges. That is 12 oranges is equal to rupees 48. So can't you find out the selling price of one orange? So my dear, the selling price of one orange will be how much? Will be equal to 48 by 12. That is 12 how many times? 4 times. So selling price of one orange is equal to rupees 4. So how much? How many oranges were bought? The number of oranges bought was 100 100 oranges was bought so selling price of 100 oranges is equal to 100 100 into 4 that is rupees 400 so when you have the selling price of 100 oranges cost price of 100 oranges can't you find out the gain of course you can find out the gain so let's find out the gain so gain here gain is equal to 400 minus 350 is equal to 50 and your gain percent is equal to gain that is gain by CP 350 into 100 gain by cost price into 100 50 how many times better 57 times 57 times so 100 by 7 will give you 14 2 by 7 percent 14 2 by 7 7 percent I hope I am able to make you people understand moving on to number number 16 is also of the same type therefore I will do number 17 okay 17 so that you people can prepare well 
for your examinations. Okay. So in number 17, what do we have? This is the last one. So please stay tuned. Or you can go also. Uh, why should I say uh, stay tuned? Naturally, you will, you people will be learning for yourself. Okay. For yourself. Only for yourself. Even not for your parents also. Okay. Number 17, man. An article is bought for rupees 5700. And rupees 1300 is spent on its repairing. So I can say that this is important. Why? Because they are talking about overhead expenses, extra expenses. So the cost price of article, article is equal to rupees 5700. Fine. And overhead, overhead expenses, expenses. Matlab extra expense, isn't it? For example, if I buy a pen, a uh, uh, desk worth rupees 10, and if I spend, you can say, if I find that its lead is not working, and I, if I spend rupees 5 again on refilling it, so the total cost will be not 10, but it will be 15 rupees. So overhead expense is equal to rupees 1300. Zero, zero. So finally, when you will add these two, you will get the total cost price. That is what they are talking about. The total cost price is equal to rupees 7000. And what are they saying? That how much it should be sold in order to gain 20%. So they want to gain 20% gain also by selling it. So you can see that how you can say from the same commodity, the person keeps on increasing its price in order to uh, uh, earn profit. So there is a great difference between the selling price and the, and the cost price. This is called the power of businessman or the power of business. Total cost price is equal to this much. Gain is equal to 20%. So the selling price will be equal to how much? Use the direct formula. Once again, since I am going to end this video, therefore selling price will be equal to 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cost price. 100 plus gain percent, that's 120 by 100 into 7000. See, have a look here. This two will get cancelled. And finally, 12 times 120 times, times how much? 70 will give you rupees 8400. Zero, zero. That is rupees 8400. Zero, zero. This means you will have to sell why you will? He will have to sell at rupees 8400 in order to gain 20% on 7000 rupees. Okay? So this is the end of the end of end of exercise exercise 9B I hope so. Exercise 9, 9B. Keep on revising this is what I can say. Okay. And it's up to your wish also. You study or you don't, don't study.